unleash more creativity in your video using ProDad Vita Scene, which offers more than 100 powerful visual effects that can be used independently and are rendered at top speed by your GPU. This bonus plugin for Corel Video Studio Pro X5 Ultimate offers an easy and fast way to add high quality transitions, text effects, filters, image enhancements, and more to your videos. In this video tutorial, you will learn how to apply a sparkling filter effect onto an image, create a text bevel effect onto a title, apply a torch light sweep transition effect between two images. To begin, drag and drop a clip from your media library into the main video track and the timeline. This will serve as the background of your title. For this example, I'll be using this bubble image. Next, right-click on it and select Change Photo Duration. In the Duration dialog box, select the value to 20 seconds and click on OK. Then, go to the Effects Library, Pro Dead, and select Vitasen 2 Filter. You will be using this filter to add a sparkling effect on the background image. Drag and drop this filter onto the clip on the timeline. This filter effect will then be added onto your clip. Now, double-click the clip to launch the Attribute tab where you can customize the Vitacene 2 filter. In the Attribute tab, click on Customize Filter to launch the Vitacene 2 window. In the Vitacene window, click on the Settings option and select Video Format. In the Format drop-down list, choose NTSC DV 16 by 9 wide. This will change the frame size of the preview window according to your chosen video format. Click on the Filter Presets and select New from Scratch in the Filter Group Number 1 Presets drop-down list. Next, double-click on the Filter option to apply the filter effect onto the image. In the Specialization pane, go to the Filter tab and select Sparkle Filter. This effect stimulates light effects on the bright areas of an image. Below the filter shows its dialog box where you can adjust the various settings for the sparkle filter in relation to the selected image. Click on the play button to see the sparkle effect from the preview window. You will notice that there hasn't been any change in the movement yet since we didn't modify any settings in the filter. Below the preview window is the timeline of the selected image. By default, the starting keyframe and the ending keyframe have the same values. That is why the sparkling effect is in static mode. The static movement will also be applied throughout the duration of the animation once you uncheck the keyframes checkbox. Keep the keyframes checkbox checked and the starting keyframe with its default settings. Next, Move the slider in the middle of the timeline. A new keyframe will be placed in this position once you change the settings in the Sparkle dialog box. To create a new keyframe, apply the following settings using either the controller or the field. Set the glow intensity to 70%, spot intensity to 0%, orientation to 60%, and reduce flicker to 54%. Select the starting keyframe and then click on the play button to view the sparkle effect on the image from the preview window. Now, move the slider between the middle keyframe and the ending keyframe, then apply the following settings to this new position in the timeline. Set the length to 25, erosion threshold to 91%, glow intensity to 70%, Spot Intensity to 0%, Orientation to 80%, and Reduce Flicker to 30%. Finally, move the slider to the ending keyframe and then apply the following settings. Set the length to 20, Highlight Threshold to 20%, Erosion Threshold to 13%, Glow Intensity to 30%, Spot Intensity to 0%, orientation to 90% and reduce flicker to 
Start the preview to look at the effect by clicking the play button again. Normally, you can adjust a keyframe that you created within the timeline by dragging it to a new position using the left mouse button. You can also delete keyframes by clicking on them and pressing the delete key on your keyboard. Now, Press the plugin icon located below the menu bar to save your Vitascene settings and to go back to the Video Studio Timeline Editor. Now, you will be adding a title to the scene. Go to the title library by clicking the T icon between the preview window and the library panel. Your preview screen will show the instructions on how you can add a text to your project. Double click on the preview window to activate the text box. Type the text that you want to appear on your preview window. For this example, type the sparkling effect. Then click anywhere in the preview window to apply the text. In the Edit tab below the Library panel, change the title duration to 20 seconds. Double-click on the title again on the timeline. Click on the Select L Title Style Preset drop-down list in the Edit tab. And then choose your desired title style. I will choose this preset. While the title is still selected, change its font size to 70 and align it to the center. Click on the border shadow transparency to launch its window. In the shadow tab, keep the second drop shadow option from the left selected and apply the following settings. Set X to 10, Y to 10, drop shadow transparency to 0, and drop Shadow Soft Edge to 99, then click OK. Next, you will be applying a text bevel effect into your title. To do this, go to the Effects Library, Pro Dad, and select Vitacin 2 Filter. Drag and drop this filter into the clip on the timeline. This filter effect will then be added into your clip. Now, double-click the title to launch the Options panel of the title. In the Attribute tab, select the Filter Radio button and then click on Customize Filter to customize the Vitacin 2 filter. In the Vitacin window, go to the Filter Group Number 1 Presets drop-down list and select New from Scratch. Next, double-click on the Filter option to apply Filter Effect on the title. In the Specialization pane, go to the Filter tab and select Bevel, then apply the following settings to the starting keyframe. Set azimuth to 100%, elevation to 100%, depth of 3%, concave to Gaussian 5, source to luminosity, bevel mode to sine 45 degree, low to 0%, high to 100%, light mode to add, light level to 50%, dark mode to sub, and dark level to 50%. Now press the plugin icon located below the menu bar to save your Vitacin settings and to go back to the Video Studio Timeline Editor. Go back to the Effects Library, choose Pro Dad, and add another Vitacin effect to your title. In the Attribute tab, select the second Vitacin effect and click on Customize Filter to customize it further. This time, Choose Starburst from the Filter Group Number 1 Presets drop-down list and double-click on the Basic Glitter Glow 479 Effect option. Select the starting keyframe from the timeline. In the Specialization pane, select the Checker B from the Length drop-down list. Move the slider to the middle timeline and set the second controller length to 100%. Press the plugin icon located below the menu bar to save your Vitacin settings and go back to the Video Studio Timeline Editor. In the Attribute tab, select the Animation Radio button and check the Apply checkbox. Choose the Moving Path and the drop-down list of Animation Type and select the Middle option in the second row. While the title is still selected, Go to the navigation panel below the preview window and adjust the in and out markers of the pause duration to your desired position.
The blue line shows the time when the title will appear static on the preview window once you play back your project. Beyond the in and out markers are the times that the selected animation will apply on the title. Now, you will be adding the Vitacin transition effect to your project. First, select the image on the main video track. Next, move the slider in the timeline by left clicking the time code below the preview window and setting it to 10 seconds to go to that specific time code. Click on the scissor icon to cut the image into two segments. Doing this will reset the Vitacin settings of the second half of the image to the default settings. Right-click on the first half of the image and select Copy Attributes. Right-click on the second half of the image and select Paste All Attributes. Go to the Transition Library, choose Pro Dad, and then drag and drop the Vitacin effect between the two images in the main video track. Click on the Options button to see the Transition tab. Then click on the Customize button to further customize the Vitacin transition effect. In the Transition Group number 1 Presets drop-down list, go to Light Wipes and double-click on Torch Light Sweep number 616. Press the plugin icon located below the menu bar to save your Vitacin settings and to go back to the Video Studio Timeline Editor. In the Transition tab, extend the exposures of the Vitacin transition by setting the duration to 3 seconds. Finally, Match the duration of the sparkling effect title to the duration of the main video track by dragging the edge of it to the edge of the second clip in the main video track. Press the home key on your keyboard to return to the very beginning of your project. Next, click the project mode on the preview window and then the play button to view your project using ProDad Vitacin filter. And there you have it! You have now created a sparkling effect and bevel title effect using ProDad Vitacin Filter in Corel Video Studio Pro X5 Ultimate. Thank you for watching!